We'd made it to the beaches of Spain, our dream destination for Christmas. After driving from the Arctic Circle, we were now looking over the Mediterranean. Wakey, wakey. The days were lazy and warm. We wandered the coast at a leisurely pace with no further destination in mind until the new year. Almeria, near Almeria, doing up on fluid. Always looking for mountains, we moved inland to the stunning Sierra Nevada mountain range. <laughs> Always out to get the best angle. Let's burn one down and slowly disappear. disappear. Seemingly the only people around except for a lone shepherd with his tribe of goats. We spent last night in the Sierra Nevada National Park which was beautiful and we've just stopped on the side of the road for some lunch on our way through to Granada and the sun has not stopped shining since we've been in Spain so I think we're definitely gonna hold tight and stay here for Christmas. Oh, what a view! <laughs> Put something out of the film. So we're travelling from Almeria to Granada today and the mountains have um, taken our breath away. Our plans were to explore the old town of Granada, especially the Alhambra which we'd seen beautiful images of. Waiting for us was an experience we'd never forget. I miss your smile through the limbs I miss your warm kisses on the day October sky. I miss you driving me around. I hate the world. <sighs> Whilst out exploring the old town, our van had been broken into and completely ransacked. Smashed glass littered everything, and our possessions were in a jumbled mess. Y qué echa en falta? What are you missing? Laptop. Um, Portátil. GoPro camera. Satnav. Satnav. I think maybe my backpack might be. Una gone. mochila. With. Uh, What is oh, a satnav? Uh, a back like my. Back. Ah, vamos, no. vamos a la acera porque yeah, nos van a atropellar. Sorry, my fist all some money as well. I didn't even realize. Oh shit. Pero es que sabes lo que me he dado cuenta que yo acabo de pasar. Es que yo. Está firme. Oh yeah. Está firme. Leave it, leave it, leave it in the. Yeah. Está firme. Why? We were overwhelmed with the kindness of a passing stranger as he called the police and stayed with us to translate before we followed the police to the station to take our statements. As the hours passed, we discovered more items missing. The list kept on growing. I miss your long brown hair hanging low. It's 2 a.m. and we're staying the night in the front of the van because we've got forensics in six hours to dust for fingerprints and then finally we can get all rid of all the glass and tidy up and get on with our lives, put it all in the past. And we've also discovered they stole our Christmas presents too, so really fantastic evening. 
Forbidden from filming forensics, we left disheartened as they came up without any usable fingerprints. Our next task was to fix the window as best we could. That's worse than what we've got. I think we should just go to the hotel. Like made to measure? Yeah, you took the words away on my mouth. Right, let's go. I reckon it was someone who thought you can sell women's toiletries. Little do they know. My mascara is two years old, so uh, dud move. You got crap makeup. All that glass. Doesn't even get in there. Can't even get it out. The mammoth task of sorting through our belongings and securing the van again gave us time to think and plan. Right now, we were still pretty shaken and wanted to feel comfortable again. However, cleaning up showed us the true extent of what happened and the task of putting everything back to normal. family begged us to come home and spend Christmas with them whilst dealing with insurance and fixing the van. So after a fair bit of consideration we've decided to drive the 600 miles across Spain to the ferry that we're going to get to Portsmouth to be back in England for Christmas. It's not necessarily what we wanted to do but to sort all the insurance and replace all the items that were stolen uh, to replace the window in the van, it's just, it's the best option really. We're feeling a bit more positive this morning. We spent the night in the port, we've had a nice long sleep and now we're just waiting to board the ferry. It's a 24 hour crossing so Hopefully we can get some decent rest and a nice warm shower. Oh wow, it's huge! The promise of a comfortable bed and warm shower was enticing, although the ocean had different plans. Attention, please, with the passengers from the cabin 9220. Feel empty, haven't eaten for like 24 hours. The rest we thought we were going to get, it was a horrible crossing, and I just tried to sleep the whole time. B was sick five times. Everyone else was slowing up. And yeah, happy we had a cabin to be honest. 
Welcome back to the UK. Hi Hillary, it's B. I'm just calling to see if the window's arrived yet. It was either drive by yours and get the window done and then go to Birmingham or go to Birmingham and then come back maybe on Friday or something. That's great, that's better. We can calm down at home and then come back down and get the window done. <laughs> it's coming today. They haven't said, had an email saying it's en route yet, so she said just come on Friday and that'd be better. I just want to go home. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 